What I wanted to talk about on this video was a question that I get asked a lot, which is what is the best piece of advice that I ever received in business? And the answer is easy. It is to hold yourself to the same standard or to hold your people to the same standard that you hold yourself. Um, so many of us, we actually hold ourselves to a very high standard. Um, we have certain work ethic standards, certain goals, certain time frames for ourselves in order to get something down. Um, and then we're managing people and we do not hold them to the same type of standard. We almost make more excuses for somebody that we're mentoring or managing and less excuses for ourselves. Um, you know, I coach a lot of people where we're probably our own worst enemy because we're so hard on ourselves. Well, it's not like we should be crazy hard on all these people that we're managing, but at the same time, like if you're a leader and you're coaching somebody who, you know, is a sharp person, like they want to be challenged. If somebody's looking for potentially a mentor and they're finding it in you, then they'd be finding it in you because you challenge them, right? So. I find that it's very akin to like the idea of being a people pleaser. If you're a people pleaser, which is so common, and I very much started out that way myself when coaching and mentoring people, then you're constantly worried about whether people are going to like you as you're, you know, pushing them or holding them to certain standards or not, which like, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant whether that person likes you in that moment or not. If they're the right student, then they're the type of person that's going to appreciate being pushed and appreciate not liking you at that moment, right? Think about like sports coaches. If you played sports and you had a good, good coach, there were definitely times where you did not like that coach, right? When we had to run laps or whatever it was, there were times where I didn't like that coach. But then when we won the match, it was very obvious that we were better conditioned than the other team. It's the same idea. Keep pushing people to the same standard that you hold yourself. Don't make excuses for somebody else that you're coaching or mentoring or managing, right? Just like you wouldn't make excuses for yourself and make sure that you're not worried about what that person thinks of you at that moment, right? Like you should be able to completely let go of that. It's like being a parent as far as like, I know. <laughs> um, as a parent, you're not worried about being that child's friend. You're worried about being their parent. It's the same kind of thing. So if you find yourself with that people pleaser type of mentality, call yourself out on that when you feel like you are, you know, falling into that. Um, and ask yourself if somebody that you're coaching or that you're overseeing or that is your employee or whatever it is, if that person is struggling with something, um, maybe it's, you know, not really applying themselves or picking something up or whatever it is. Ask yourself if you could see yourself going through that same thing. And if the answer is no, you wouldn't be, you know, late X amount of times, or you wouldn't have not put in the time by now to study this, this, and that, or you wouldn't have continued to make the excuse yourself, then you got to call that person out on that, right? Same type of standard that you would hold yourself to. That's the best piece of advice I've ever gotten in business. It took a while for it to really, truly click. And once I did, it made an enormous difference in the type of teams and the caliber of teams that I was able to to coach. So hopefully that's helpful. If you find it helpful, feel free to like my video. You can go ahead and click subscribe and we'll keep more good content coming for you guys. Everybody have an awesome Wednesday night.